Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island, and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is January 5th, 2021. Happy New Year, everyone. And what better way to bring in the new year than to talk about a brand new 55 and over community here in Bluffton. Cahavnanian's Four Seasons at Carolina Oaks. We're going to go into the community and take a closer look, talk about the new amenities center. We're actually going to tour the model homes that they have here. Before we do that though, we're out here on the west side of Bluffton on Route 170, looking north at the moment. And if we were to drive north for just a very few miles, we would come to a freestanding emergency room. We'd come to a hospital. We would come to many grocery stores and retail stores and restaurants. Lots of shopping in central Bluffton. Two Tanger outlet malls, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of big box stores. And in that direction, you're about 40 minutes to the beaches on Hilton Head Island. And you're about 30 minutes over to the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport. Directly across the street, and I'm sorry to be looking into the sun like this, there's new commercial construction underway with a public supermarket. And I'm sure there's going to be other stores. I'm sure there'll be a national chain drugstore in there and other fast food type places just a few hundred yards down the street there in the direction of that sidewalk that's your new Riverside Circle and there's additional commercial development coming in there if you turn right you'd be in Savannah Georgia in about a half an hour turn left you're going to be in Old Town Bluffton in about 10 minutes and if you continue straight You'll be up in Palmetto Bluff, the area's only five-star resort at the Montage. Four Seasons at Carolina Oaks is a gated community, and we're told that the security gate will be operational in April when the first homes are completed. So, Four Seasons at Carolina Oaks is a 55 and over community of active adults. It's going to have a uh, total of 559 building sites. Very quiet and beautiful back in here. They're going to have a large activity center with clubhouse. We'll take a closer look at that. They have three different categories of homes, kind of like small, medium, and large. We'll go into all those details as well. And we'll also talk about my services as a buyer's agent. I don't work for Kehavnanian. I don't work for Carolina Oaks. I work for you, ladies and gentlemen, as a buyer's agent. And I have 45 years of local Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. I'm also a former licensed South Carolina home builder. I do a lot of work for my buyers who are interested in getting a new home. And of course, we compare communities. We compare builders. We compare new homes to resale homes. We do whatever is necessary for you to be able to shop and purchase with confidence. And I think that this entrance into Carolina Oaks is real pretty. I like the divided roadway. It takes you back in off of Route 170. And the elevation back in here, by the way, we're told is about 22 feet above sea level. So you're in floodplain C with optional flood insurance. And this is Four Seasons Boulevard. 
And we're coming up on the intersection of Carolina Oaks Boulevard and straight ahead is where the new amenity center is under construction. We're told that it'll be ready about this time next year. And here's a map view of what I was trying to describe when we were out on Route 170 together. And you can see that Four Seasons is at the intersection of Route 170 and Route 46. This is called the New Riverside section of Bluffton. There's actually a large traffic circle there called the New Riverside Circle. Moving north, we come to the Bluffton Parkway, which runs east and west over to the Buckwalter Parkway. And at that intersection, there's a large shopping area with two large grocery stores, huge uh, medical pavilion, a new hospital coming in, lots of shopping and restaurants. There's a freestanding emergency room just north of 278 by about a quarter of a mile there called the Tide Watch Medical Center. If we go west on 278, that takes us out to Route 95, where there's another hospital. And of course, that would be one way to go to the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport. And that's about a half an hour's drive away. Coming east on Route 46 from Four Seasons, we're in Old Town Bluffton, which is just about a 10 minute drive. And north of there, we come back again to Route 278, where there are the big box stores. You have two Tanger outlet malls. You've got your Lowe's, your Home Depot, Dick's Sporting Goods, Best Buys. And if you're going to the beach, you would follow 278 east to Hilton Head Island, and you would be on the beach in about 40 minutes. So we're looking at the site map now for Carolina Oaks. Again, 559 total building sites. They're all 120 feet deep. They have different widths, 47, 57, and 62 foot widths that each support a different category of home. The Haven Collection, the Preserve Collection, and the Retreat Collection. And roughly in the center of the community is the clubhouse and the amenity center. The community amenity center has a 12,000 square foot clubhouse, which we're told is going to be completed at about this time next year. It has a social hall, a fitness studio, aerobic studio, arts and crafts room, billiards room, card room, Outside, there's going to be a community swimming pool, two tennis courts, four pickleball courts, bocce courts, dog park, and fire pit. New construction here at Four Seasons is going to take about seven months. So anyone who's building from now on through this year shouldn't be long without the amenity center, which will be completed in about January of 2022. And here's the Donegal representative of the Haven Collection, the smallest group. The Donegal has 1,689 square feet. The Haven Collection has four models total. Three have loft options. Their size range is from 1,324 square feet to 2,489 square feet, with base prices from about 268 today. Each of these homes and each of these series have three elevations. This one has a very attractive and popular covered front porch elevation. Let's walk through and take a look. The Donegal has two bedrooms and a den. You see the den just there to your right. The second bedroom is to the right of us again. We'll come back to it. And it has a big open floor plan with nine foot ceilings 
you'll see that the homes in the Haven collection and the Preserve collection have the nine foot ceilings. When we go up to the Retreat collection, they become 10 foot ceilings. And you can see that this home has the open floor plan, the contemporary floor plan with the one level island. In this case, they have the quartz in their model. What is standard are your granite tops. This is a natural gas community, but it is an upgrade to have the natural gas range and oven. Otherwise, the ceramic electric is the standard. They build with GE stainless appliances, which are standard. You have Aristocraft cabinets with crown molding. There is a privacy jog from the living room to our primary bedroom at the back with a big trio of windows looking out to your view, which will be of your choice depending on the lot that you choose. Here we have a water view. Other homes will have wooded views. Of course, in the primary bedroom, we have the private bathroom and the dual basins in the vanity top are standard. Now they call it Venetian marble. I'm used to calling it cultured marble. That is standard here. They've upgraded to a quartz top. Your tiled floor is standard. I'm sure that this one is a bit of an upgrade. Well done. With a tiled shower. And of course we'll have to sort through case by case to see just what is standard and what is an option. But in this case, we have a beautiful tiled shower with a high window and a frameless enclosure. And a closet for him and for her. And of course, your wood floors or laminates are always options. Options that most people want, by the way. Your brushed nickel hardware is standard in the bathrooms. You have chrome in the kitchen. This Donegal model home has a big, beautiful covered back porch, which is an option. I understand that it is standard in the Athens model, which is one of the four models here in this Haven series. And of course, screening your covered porch is always an option which I would recommend. Any kind of additional patio is always going to be an option which can possibly be done in the aftermarket as well such as the fire pit as well. And off in the distance there that's where the new uh, center is being built. The new uh, amenity center with the clubhouse. They have LED lighting which is standard and included. Things like those pendants lights are always an option. Our pantry is to the right. Here's our laundry. Your washer dryer and refrigerator are never included, always options. A finished garage is always included in your base price. Here are your windshields which are required by code but you'll probably never need because this is such a great place to avoid a storm here in this part of Bluffton. Your energy features include the Renai tankless water heater always mounted in the garage. Other energy features which are standard and included are solar board in your roof deck. You have R38 ceiling insulation. Looking toward the foyer, our den or office is here to the side. All of these homes are on slab, which means concrete platform. No steps unless you take the loft option. 
and all floodplain C. This is our second bedroom here at the front of the house. And then our second bathroom. The tile floor is standard. The painted cabinet is an option. We'll go over all the options when you call. Your price will always be the price of your lot, the base price of the home, and then all of the options that you choose will comprise your final price. And when you determine that, then Cahovnanian will stand behind that to the penny. There will be no price increase until the house is delivered to you six, seven months later. And when we talk about lot prices, by the way, in this series, the lots today are priced from twenty-two dollars to $26,000. And these homes are 35 feet wide. Again, the lots in this series are 47 feet wide, so you always have at least 12 feet between homes. Let's move on to the Palmera 2. And here is the Palmera 2 model. It's one of eight models in the Preserve Collection. And that's the most models offered by Kehov here at Four Seasons. So I think that they're expecting this to be the most popular series. The Palmera 2 has 2,179 square feet. It is distinctive in that it has three bedrooms and a den plus a living room for the mother-in-law. We're going to see a separate entrance before that front door to the right, which goes into that mother-in-law suite. There's a kitchenette in there, a bathroom, a bedroom, and then in addition to that, two other bedrooms and a den. Let's go in and take a look. Here is that separate entrance, in this case to the right of the front door, in the covered entryway of the Palmera 2. Immediately to the right of our foyer is this mother-in-law suite. Very distinctive, not just among homes here at Four Seasons, but really anywhere. I get a fair number of requests from families moving here where they want the parents living with them or the grandparents who come down quite a bit. Here's this dedicated living room and it's staged to show you how it could work. You see with the uh, wall TV, the dining area there, and the kitchenette with the full fridge. This is our outside entrance to the left, the foyer entrance to the left, our bathroom to the right, and this is the bedroom then for this mother-in-law suite. Again, we have nine foot ceilings between the bedroom and the living room. We have our bathroom. with the tiled floor, and the shower with the high window for light and privacy. Very distinctive floor plan. I think it's going to be a real popular one here at Four Seasons. Back again to the foyer. This version of wainscoting is sometimes called judges paneling, but in the foyer you do have wainscoting included and crown molding included. Our den is along the foyer hallway towards the living area, in this case with beautiful double doors. And into our open and contemporary living area, the fireplace is optional. The kitchen is open with the big island. And in the model they have this optional laminate floor running right on through giving you a view out to whichever view that you will choose 
The primary bedroom is at the back of the house and immediately between the living room and the bedroom is this large closet for him and for her. The private bathroom has the dual basin vanity, which again is standard with the cultured marble top. In this case, they've upgraded to the quartz. They've upgraded to the painted cabinets because standard is your stained birch. And in this model, they have both the shower with the frameless enclosure and your tub. These kitchens will have a variety of options relating to your cabinets, countertops, backsplashes, choice of appliances, quite a variety where you can control your level of luxury and control the price to meet your budget. To the left of the foyer, we have our two-car garage and a coat closet, our laundry at the end of the hallway. On the way, we have our third bathroom, and it is a full bathroom. And our third bedroom. Your access to the attic is always going to be via a hatch, like you see here in this hallway ceiling. They do offer an option with a drop-down stairway with storage in the attic. Also in the preserved collection, the Ibiza Loft, a large, impressive house. When you step into the foyer of the Ibiza loft, you immediately see that you're in a large home with a large central living area, contemporary and open, but with two dining areas, immediately to the left and to the back. To the right of the foyer is our third bedroom. and third bathroom. You want to see the office or den here just off of the living area. In this case with the double glass doors. One of the real popular options in many of these homes and all around the area are these sliding glass doors that have the extra panel or two. We see that here leading out to the covered porch. Our primary bedroom is to the back as it is in all of these homes. In this case with a recessed ceiling and of course the primary bedroom has the private bathroom. In this case very good quality. The double basin is standard. You'll choose your countertop, your cabinets, your flooring to individualize the home as you wish. At the back, this eating kitchen is I think where most people will take most meals with two pairs of windows making it very light and bright maximizing your view, open to your living room and your kitchen that has many options. In this case it has many what we call gourmet features and upgrades. They've moved the microwave. They've put their hood into the cabinets and that does vent to the outside by the way. They've gone with the natural gas range top Put a double oven down at the end. 
They've got the country kitchen sink. I'm sure that comes in a stainless variety as well. With the swan neck rub bronze faucet. Very stylish. Added some staggered cabinets with a glass front. Wow, this is a wow, folks. I like it. Let's just continue on into the laundry. It's big. And you'll probably come into the house through the laundry from the garage. And there is the garage door. Your stained newels and railings are standard when you go with the loft. Here's your second floor loft, which for me is a wow. I mean, the versatility is pretty much unlimited as to what you use a loft like this for. In this case, decorated as a living room. Your bathroom to the right. And this upstairs bedroom is right here. Quick look at the bathroom, but I think you know the quality now as we go along from bath to bath. In this case, they have the standard fiberglass tub and shower. That tub is deep. It's a soaking tub. Here's our fourth house in the Four Seasons Model Home Park, the Porto, representative of the Retreat Collection, the largest group. And the Porto has 2,492 square feet. It also is the only home in any collection that has that extra garage bay for your golf cart or whatever else you might like to use it for. Well, let's go inside. The Porto has a large open floor plan, in this case with an optional fireplace. Huge kitchen island, again with the eat-in dining area at the back. There's a second area here for formal dining. Immediately to the side of our foyer is an area that I think would be used as an office by most people. And off of our foyer, big privacy jog that goes through to the second bedroom. Now that we're into the retreat series, the, the retreat collection, we have 10 foot high ceilings. In the model, we have eight foot doors. The primary bedroom is at the back and through this privacy jog. It's really large. Decorated nicely by the developer. It's what we call staged to give you an idea. And it should also convey to you how big this room really is. And in this case, in the model they've run through on the flooring, their wood or laminate flooring, which is also a very popular option these days. I'd like to show you the primary bathroom, but they're installing a frameless shower enclosure there now, so we'll move on towards the garage. And on the way, we have a half bath. All of the half baths have the pedestal sinks. And we have our laundry. We've just circled around behind the primary bathroom to the laundry. And the entry to that bathroom is there on the right. Yeah. 
Big beautiful kitchen. And in the Porto, your covered integral porch is standard. Off in the distance, the recreation center under construction to be ready in early 2022. Well again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. I'm also a former licensed South Carolina home builder. I love working with my buyers on new homes, helping you through the new home process. And of course, we also compare communities, builders, new homes to resale homes. Whatever you need, I'm here for you. My fee is already in the price of every listed property and new builds like these. And so here's my contact information. My cell number, and please call any time, 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. And my website, well that's gogated.com. And thank you for watching. And if you like this video, well there's more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe.